Namaste. Welcome to your Wednesday warm up. I'm Carter, and today's 20 minute practice is about an overall body connection and awareness. So let's get to our mat. <laughs> All right, yogis, let's start at the front of our mat. Spread your toes nice and wide. Feet are about hips distance apart. Hands come to heart center. Bend and straighten the knees, and on the inhalation, reach your arms up. Lift your chin, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold forward. No rush today. Tuck your chin, release your head, and soften. Inhale, come halfway up. Flatten your back, lift your chin, lift your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, walk all the way back to the top of a push-up. Lower your knees down, lift your feet up, roll your ankles. Let's do two yogi push-ups, so lower halfway down, and then push yourself on up. Let's do that one more time, halfway down. Push yourself on up, this time all the way down. Lower your feet, squeeze your legs together. Push your feet, your hips, and your hands down. Lift your chin, lift your chest, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down, soften. Inhale, come on up to table. Exhale to down dog. Roll over your toes, lift your knees and hips. If it's your first down dog of the day, a little bit of movement. Pedaling feet and knees, wag your tail, shake your head. <sighs> Long spine. Nice. Come onto your toes. Bend your knees so the shins are parallel to the floor. Hold here for a moment. Lift the gaze. And then walk the hands to the feet. Inhale halfway up. Flatten your back. Lift your chin. Lift your chest. Exhale. Fold forward. Tuck the chin. Heel toe your feet out as wide as your mat. Rotate your toes out. Lower your hips down. Malasana Yogi squat. Hands come to heart center. Lengthen through torso. Right hand comes down, right shoulder drops inside right knee. Left hand to left knee, twist open, lift the gaze up towards the ceiling. Options, left arm could reach up. Left elbow could bend. Back the hand finds lower back. And you could slide this right arm around that right shin. Search for the fingers for the bind. Big inhale. Slow exhale. Exhale, let everything go. Hands down. Lean just a little bit forward. Bring the weight to your right foot and step your left foot all the way to the back of your mat. Swivel and ground down through the back foot and then crab walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat as you straighten your right knee. Skandasana, low lunge. And then into warrior two to the front of your mat. So bend your right knee, arms open up. Adjust your stance if you need it. Swivel your palms up and down. Hmm. Ribs and belly draw in, gaze over the right fingertips. Arms are awake but not rigid. Soften all ten toes. Swivel your right palm up. Slide your left arm behind the back. And reach that right arm up and over your right ear. And the more you reach your right arm, the more you're going to sink low into that right knee. And then bend your right elbow so you can cradle the head. Squeeze the shoulder blades and elbows together. Lift the chin. Mm. And then take that left forearm to that, uh, sorry, right forearm to the right knee. Swivel your right palm up. Slide your left arm over your left ear for extended side angle. So left palm is down. Left shoulder, left hip draws back, lift the gaze. Opening up through the pelvis, the heart. Then look down to your right big toe. Take your left hand down, twist and open, reach your right arm up, dragonfly twist. Roll the right wrist. And then drop your left knee down. Take your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Scoot that right foot forward and out to the right. And then roll on the outside of that right foot as you drop your right knee open. Options. Lower the elbows down. Soften. 
If you're feeling anything in the right ankle, flex that right foot a little bit. Other options, right hand to the right thigh, right hand behind the back, or maybe bending the left knee with the right hand, grab that foot, ankle, or shin. Oh, that's a doozy. Mm. If you have the bind, let it go. Both hands come down. Root down through this right foot. Roll over your left toes. Lift your left knee. Step your left foot forward. Drop the hips back to Malasana Yogi Squat again. Let's do the same thing other side. Left hand down, left shoulder, chin side, left knee. Right hand to right knee, twist and open, gaze over that right shoulder. Options are the same, right arm could reach up. Right elbow could bend, back of the hand could find the lower back. Left arm could slide around left shin. We can search for the bind there. Mm. Spine is long. Nice. Exhale, let it all go. Hands down. Bring the weight a little bit to the palms. This right foot, step it all the way back. Swivel your back foot to ground down. Skandasana, so walk the hands back, low lunge. Hip can maybe touch the heel. And then into warrior two to the front of your mat. So left knee bends, arms open up. Adjust if you need to. Heels are squeezing in towards one another so the groins wake up. Ribs and belly draw in, tuck the tailbone. Gaze over the left fingertips. Really strong pose, but see if you can find some ease within it. Right? All right, so your face could be like, oh, I could do this all day long. Piece of cake. <laughs> Swivel your left palm up. Take your right arm behind the back. Slide this left arm up and over. Mm. Ease into the pose. And as you reach the left arm, sink low into the left knee. And then bend your left elbow, cradle the head. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the heart, chin and chest. Mm. Extended side angle. So left forearm to left knee. Swivel the left palm up. Right arm reaches up and over that right ear. As you draw your right shoulder and right hip back and lift the gaze, that left knee has a tendency to drop in a little bit. So we're going to invite it out towards pinky toe. So you may feel it in that left groin. Long right side body. Deep full breath. And then look down to your left big toe. As you bring your right hand down, roll onto your right toes, twist and open. Left arm reaches up. Mm-hmm. Left hand comes down inside left foot. Drop your right knee, point your right toes. You want to make sure this left foot is in front of the left knee and out a little bit to the left. Roll onto the outside of that left foot as that left knee draws open. Hoo -hoo. This is a left groin, I left IT band. If you drop this right hip bone down enough, you'll feel that in the right hip flexor. And if you're needing more sensation, elbows can come down to floor or blocks if you have them. You get at a twist, left hand to the thigh as you twist and open the heart. And maybe right knee bends, left hand reaches back. I can't get this side. And we don't want to ever push anything, right? So we wait for the sensation of the body to say, please give me more, and then we ease into it. All right, we're not, um, there's not a goal of getting somewhere in the pose, it's the goal of sensation. Hands under shoulders, lift the torso on up, bring that left foot back down, roll over your right toes, lift your right knee, step that right foot forward, and once again, we're coming to yogi squat. So hips down, hands to heart center. And keep in mind, in yogi squat, if your hips are a little bit tight, your heels may be off the ground. That's cool. If you can't hang out here, maybe the hands are on the floor. That's cool, too. If you want to move into an arm balance, you can come into crow pose. So hands come down, come onto your toes, knees press against the triceps. Maybe this is enough here so you can feel the weight. 
Options may be bringing one foot off the ground or the other foot off the ground. If you're not comfortable, I would put a pillow down underneath the head because you could end up on the nose and nobody wants that. <laughs> right? So maybe you lift both feet off the ground, maybe the feet come together. One more deep full breath wherever you are. If you're in crow, bring the feet all the way back down. Everyone slowly start to straighten the knees, lift the hips, swivel the heels out, tuck your chin, sway the hips, relax the jaw. Inhale very slowly, bring yourself all the way up. Arms reach up, lift the gaze, lift the chin and chest. Exhale, hands to heart center. Swivel your palms open, Tadasana, shake it all out. Bend and straighten the knees, arms reach up, elbows bend, hands and elbows draw back. Take your right arm underneath your left arm, grab your shoulders, elbows up and down. This may be plenty, or you can come into eagle arms, right hand grabs left wrist or palm. Now you got options here. You can stay just like this as you create space between the shoulder blades, or you can bend the knees and drop the seat into Utkatasana legs. If you're looking for a little bit more of a balance, take your right knee, stack it on top of your left knee, squeeze the ankles together. So moving into eagle pose. Oh, oh it's a balance pose. <laughs> Tuck your tailbone. For a little bit more, the elbows can come towards the knees. <laughs> if you're hinging forward, come on up. Gracefully, unwind it all, shake it out. Nice work. Let's do the other side. Arms reach up, elbows bend, hands and elbows draw back. Mm. Left arm underneath right arm. Grab the shoulders, elbows up and down. Keep in mind, right side, left side probably different, so you may be able to do eagle arms on one side, not the other. Let's try it out. Backs of the hands together, left hand grabs right wrist if it's there. Maybe this is enough while you enjoy that space between the shoulder blades. For power in the legs, Utkatasana legs. For balance, left knee on top of right knee. Maybe the toes come down for like a little kickstand, which would help me out. <laughs> or maybe squeeze the ankles together. Some people can get that left foot around the right ankle. I can't. But it's available if you can do it. <laughs> Tuck the tailbone. Draw the belly in. Elbows are up. Shoulders are down. Hands a little bit away from the face if you have them. Ooh, elbows towards the knees. <laughs> this movement is called mastery. <laughs> elbows towards knees. If you're hinging forward, come on up. Unwind it all. Woo, shake it all out. Come to the front of your mat, hands to heart center. Bend and straighten the knees. Inhale, arms reach up. Lift the chin, lift the gaze. Maybe a back bend if you're warm enough and you need it. Exhale, hands through heart center. Drop the arms, tuck the chin, soften. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend and plant, walk, step, or float all the way back, top of a push up. You can do the same thing we did before knees, floor, cobra, maybe yogi push up, or Halfway down through up dog, through chaturanga, exhale, down dog. Hmm. Three breaths, subtle internal rotation of your thighs, so the insides of the heels disappear behind the tops of the feet. There's a subtle rotation of your arms, so the creases of the elbows are coming forward as you press the palms down and lengthen. Bring your big toes together, right foot extends towards the ceiling, bend your right knee and stack the right hip on top of the left hip. For a little bit of a back bend, gaze over your left shoulder, ooh yeah. Pigeon right side, right shin comes forward, left knee drops, lengthen through torso. Hmm. Square the hip bones to the floor, right foot's in alignment with left leg. For more sensation, scoot that right shin forward. For support of the right knee, slide something underneath that right thigh. Elbows lower down, tuck the chin, breathe. 
Big inhale, slow exhale. Last breath. Before you come up, press your right shin into the ground. Use that power to lift the torso. So you'll activate the right hip. Press the hands down, roll over your left toes, lift your left knee, right leg goes back. Three-legged dog, reach that right leg up to the ceiling. Shake it out. Let's try the other side. So right foot comes down, big toes together. Left foot reaches to the ceiling. Bend open and stack for that back bend. Gaze over that right shoulder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Left shin. Forward pigeon left side. Once again, right side, left side, probably different. So take your time. A little bit of movement from side to side. Make your adjustments. Maybe elbows down, stack in the fists. Or maybe you can extend and lengthen and soften. A breath or two, taking time. All right, hands under shoulders, push your shin into the ground and activate that leg. Roll over the right toes, lift the right knee, left leg all the way back up, three-legged dog, shake it out. Slide in the down dog, drop your knees down, cross your ankles, roll over your feet, come into boat pose, so feet are on the ground, hips root down, hands could be knees, thighs, hamstrings that can extend out in front of you, knees can be bent or straight, whatever is working, and then very slowly lower to the floor until you're flat. Scoot yourself to the middle of your mat, extend your arms up over your head, stretch from your fingers all the way down to your toes, get nice and long, mm -mm -mm. and draw both knees towards the belly chest, wrap your arms around the legs, little hug. Feet to the floor, about hips distance apart. Press through the feet, lift your hips up. Maybe lift your mid back up or back up. Hands could be palms up, palms down, or interlace the fingers behind the back as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. For a little bit of space in the spine, come onto your tippy toes and draw that chin towards the chest. Hmm. Feel the openness of the front body, chest, shoulders, belly, fronts of the thighs. Lower the heels, release the hands, slowly lower the hips all the way down. Windshield wiper your legs side to side. Straighten the knees, heels find the corners of your mat. Externally rotate your thighs so your feet fall open. Take the left hand to the heart, right hand to the lower belly, so the right thumb is in the belly button. On the inhalation, allow the belly to expand. On the exhalation, the belly drops. Let's do two more of those belly breaths. Inhale, belly expands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, belly drops. One more time, inhale, exhale, back to your normal breath, relax your jaw, soften your forehead, Gently draw the knees towards the belly, chest, wrap your arms around your legs, give yourself a little squeeze. Right arm reaches up over your head, roll to your right side. 
a moment to check in here. Acknowledge your body, your practice, this time and this space. Softly, softly pressing your hands into the ground, bring yourself up into a comfortable seat. Hands to knees or thighs, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Roll your head back, lift your chin up, wag your jaw. Left ear to left shoulder. And chin all the way to the chest. Bring your hands together. Thumbs come towards the heart. Take a nice big inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for being here with me in this practice. And namaste. Hmm. Nice job showing up to your mat today. If you like this practice, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep updated on the latest content. See you soon. Peace.